Hey, what's up? Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is how to get Breath of Fire 3 on PSX for All. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for All, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler. And to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, then into the search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. And we're going to have to go into Safari. So go ahead and click the iPhone's native Safari application. And when it opens, type in the URL coolrom.com, just as I am doing here. And it will send you to their mobile website, which is fine because their mobile website is very easy to use and perfect for us right now. So here we'll have three options, ROM search, emulators, and ROM files. Now, we're going to be using the ROM search for this video. So we're getting Breath of Fire 3. So just go ahead and type that in there and click the search button. And now we'll search for it in all the ROMs in every system they have. And hmm. I think I spelled something wrong, or I typed it in wrong, or they have it under some another name. <clears throat> oh yeah, see, it's under Breath of Fire 3, but in Roman numeral. So as you can see, it's right here, version 1.1, so we're going to go ahead and click on that one. And it's going to load the Breath of Fire 3 ROM page, and it's very nice because the way they set it up is with two screenshots, the file size, the file name, how many times it's been downloaded, and its rating. So we're going to scroll down and hit the download now button. Now this will initiate the download of the ROM and you will know that it's being download be downloaded because at the top where the URL was, it will now convert into a download statistic. So as you can see, it's showing the amount of megabytes being downloaded compared to the amount of megabytes to be downloaded. So, this should not take that long, being as the file is not that big, but I will be back when it is done. So, now when it is done downloading the ROM, you'll get a screen like this. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Open In, and then the Finder option. You only have this option if you got Safari Download Enabler. Now when we open it, we should be in VAR Mobile. If you're not, then go all the way back until you can't go back anymore. Then from VAR Mobile, we're going to click on the Media folder, then the ROMs folder, then PSX folder. And from here at the top right, we're going to click Save. And now we can go home. From the home screen, let's click on iFile. And when you open iFile, you should be at VAR Mobile. If not, then click the house at the bottom, and it will automatically redirect you to VAR Mobile. From here, we're going to click on the Media folder, scroll down the ROMs folder, then the PSX folder, and there's our Breath of Fire.7z file. What we're going to do is click on it, and then unarchiver. What this will do is that it will extract the files that are in the .7z file into the PSX directory. So basically there's files inside the file we downloaded and we want to get those. So for now we just wait until this finishes. It should take two to five minutes and I'll be back when it is done. So you will know that the file is done extracting when 
At the top right, you're able to click Done now, and also at the bottom it says Finish with Resolve Code 0. So we're going to click Done. Now from here, we can delete the .7z file that we had because we do not need that, and free up some space. So slide to the right, click Delete, but this will not permanently delete the file. To delete it permanently, click Edit, then the trash can, and empty the trash. And we're done. So now we can go home and into the PSX for all application. But before we go in, we must check that it is not open in the multitasking bar. So as you can see, PSX for all is open in the multitasking bar. So we're going to kill it by holding it and pressing the red minus. Now we can open the PSX for all application. And when it opens, we'll be able to see that our breath of fire dot bin is now in the PSX for all application. So there's two tracks to it, so basically when you're done with the first track, save in the game and then load the second track and load the save. So now the game is fully playable, I can click on it, click portrait and no sound, and the Sony PlayStation logo will appear, I mean the Sony boot logo, now the PlayStation logo will appear, and then after this, the game will run. So then you guys can see that the game is running and that it runs at a pretty good speed. It might lag a little bit because I'm recording the screen of my iPhone 3GS but be assured that if you're using an iPhone 3GS or above it will run well. Anyways guys, you can see that it's running smooth and working, and basically just have fun with your emulators. Peace. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see this game running at its best capacity on my iPhone 3GS, then go ahead and click on that Breath of Fire 3 gameplay. Also at the top I have two videos that you might enjoy, so just click the one that you feel fit to watch. Anyways guys, if this helped you or you liked the video or this worked for you, click that like button and to see more videos like this or other cool videos, hit that green subscribe button.